Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at how to make a 2D laser in Unity. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. To begin with, we're just going to need to create some objects. So that's not where we want to do it. We want to do it up in the hierarchy. Um, we could, seeing it's 2D, obviously we could use sprites. Seeing I don't want to set up a sprite, I'm just going to use a cube because it's easier to see. But because of course we're in 2D, we can't use the 3D collision, so we'll just remove that and add a 2D version. Cool. So now we have a cube, and um, we'll just call this one our weapon. Duplicate it, uh, which is just Control D, and rename it to wall. And then we'll duplicate that one. Oops. And then scale that up. Scale is R on the keyboard. Cool. So now we have two walls that we can cast our laser against. And we have a weapon. But we can't actually use this to spawn the laser. Because if we spawn the laser from here and don't add an offset in the code, the laser is going to spawn inside of the cube, which means it's going to be casting against its own collider. So what we actually want to do is create an empty game object so it doesn't have anything on it, and just move that to the outside of the cube so that the laser can fire from the outside. And we'll just rename this to something like spawn. And then this is where we're going to have our laser. And we're going to be doing the laser with a line renderer. So we come in here, we'll add our line renderer, and we'll add a material. Just add the default sprite material. Um, well, did I say default line? We can try that one out. Uh, we're going to want the laser to be a bit thinner, and we're going to want it to be red. So now we have our line renderer that we can turn on. We'll min uh, minimize that. And now we need a script. So we'll add a new script. And we'll just call it laser. And let's open up this script. There is another game object we're going to need. Um, we'll add that just before we start on the script. So we just want to add a hit point which would just be create another empty and we'll just call this hit point and we want this one to be visible in scene so if we come over to this cube we can make it visible by choosing one of these so now if we move that around we can see it's visible in scene cool so now I can come to our script and I'll just move these brackets down because I don't really like them like that and we can start now variables so to begin with, we're just going to need our line renderer, which we can make a private variable because we don't need to access it from any other scripts, and we can assign it from the script itself. So line renderer, and then we need a public transform, which is the object we just made, which is the uh, laser hit position, which we called uh, hit point. We'll just call it laser hit in here. And they're the only variables we're going to need. So now we can come down to our start. And I'll explain all this code once we have it done. Um, but yeah, so well, I'll explain it as we go as well. So we get our line renderer, the one that we declared up here. And we say it's equal to get component. So we're getting the line render, line renderer that we added to this object. So grabbing the line renderer and now in here we have if we go to the spawn because this script is on here and this line renderer is on the same object as that script we are now filling in this variable with that line renderer with this line of code cool so now we just want to grab our line renderer and set it to be false so that 
the laser just isn't constantly firing. You don't need to do that if that's not the use that you're going to want. And then we just want to set the world position, I mean the world space, well the space to use world space. Which just means it's going to use the world points origin instead of itself. Cool. Um, and now that we have our line renderer declared and set up a bit, we can get to actually drawing our line to fire our laser. And we're going to do that with a raycast. So just add a raycast. Whoops, not a rat. Raycast hit 2D. And we'll call that hit. And that's just equal to physics. Whoops. Physics 2D dot uh, raycast and we're going to be raycasting it from the hit position uh, from the spawn position so that's just transform dot position and we want to fire it up which is just transform dot up so pretty simple so far uh, we've just declared our line renderer and we set up some things for it and then we have a raycast which is going from our spawn position which is the object we have our script on upwards so um, we could probably just test that now if you want me if I, yeah I'll just test that now so if we just put in a debug dot draw line then we draw the line from our transform dot position to the hit dot point, which is the position that this hit is hitting, which is at the end of our ray. So now if we save that, come into scene, we should see, oh, I'll need to sign that variable. We need to sign the laser hit in here, which is just our hit point. Still not getting, oh, we won't see that in that scene, so we need to break our game window off. Yeah, and we get our line. Uh, the line is a debug tool, so we only get it in the scene view, we don't get it in the game view. Unless we come into the game view and turn on gizmos, then we can get it in there. But yeah, so now we have a laser, which is drawing from our, uh, origin, um, our origin position, which is our spawn point, to the wall. And if we move this, you can see the laser shrinks. And if we grab our spawn point and move it, it's shrinking to come into all of that, which is cool. We have a laser, but we aren't actually rendering anything on it. That is all just a debug draw thing, so that's not actually going to show up um, in game. So we just want to actually use our line renderer to follow this path. So. We want to just, to begin with, we're going to move our laser, whoops, ooh, hit F11. No, we do not want to make a build. Yeah, so, we want to get our laser hit, and we want to set its position to be equal to the hit dot point. So now we can use this to draw our, our line renderer too. So we go line renderer, whoops, on a new line, line renderer dot positions, I mean dot set positions, or oh, set position, uh, we only want to set one at a time. And then in brackets we're setting the first position which is position zero, and we're just going to set it to transform dot position, which means the start of the laser will be at our origin point, which is the um, location of the object that this script is on. So then under that we just want to go line renderer dot set position, and this time we're going to be setting the next point. So you could have as many points in this as you want and make the laser bounce around just by adding in more points than 0 and 1. 0 and 1 will give you a laser from one point to another. Um, so now we're declaring the end point, which is going to be our laser, whoops, our laser hit dot position, not print, dot position, no, <laughs> laser hit 
dot position. Cool. And now we still won't be able to see the laser because we still have it uh, set to false. So we'll just um, make it so that whenever we hit the space bar, we can see the laser. So if input dot get key key code whoops key code dot space make space this uh, fire bar we will set our line renderer dot enabled to true and if we are not holding down a space button so else we will just set our line renderer dot enabled to equal false. So now uh, we'll come into Unity and then I'll explain that. So now when we press play and we hit the space bar, we get a laser. And if we move this object around, hit the space bar, you'll see the laser is drawing to that spot. Uh, let's just turn it on constantly for a second just to show it in more real time. Whoops, should have hit unplay then. That's kind of bad practice. Yeah, it didn't save that change. Oh no, it'll be actually taking this code into account. So we'll just comment out this code. Whoops. Wrong button. Eh, this is not going well. I'm trying to do Alt Shift and it will comment out that code and that was just Alt Shift and then using the arrow keys which allows you to highlight up and down in a row or sections which can be really useful uh, so yeah save that come back into Unity press play now our laser should just be on yep now we move this around and we can see how our laser works Cool. So yeah, that's all there really is to it. Um, I'll explain it quickly. So we'll turn the firing back on, make that false again. But yeah, so we have our ray cast, which is just drawing a ray from our starting point forwards. And if it hits something with 2D physics, it is moving our laser hit position to that point and then we're just grabbing our line renderer and we're drawing a line from us to that hit point. And the way this works, how I said how zero is the start of the laser and one is the end of the laser. If we come into Unity and we go to positions in the line renderer, you can see that we have a size of two, that's just the default, you can make that as big as you need. And then this is position zero, which we're setting to be our spawn point. And then this is position one, which we are setting to be the hit dot point. But if we just drag it around in here, you can see that, yes, that's how you move the laser around. So you can do a whole, whole heap of things with this. It doesn't just have to be a simple laser. It's just moving a line or drawing a line between positions. So yeah, it's something you can do a whole heap of stuff with. And hopefully that helped you. Hopefully the audio was a lot better than last time. And yeah, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. I make tutorials whenever I can. Sometimes I'm a bit busy. I also run a company making games. So whenever I can get the time to do this, I like to. So yeah, thank you and have a nice day.